In this video, we will discuss the included forms option on a move-in. To see this, go to Operations Move-in, perform a typical move-in by choosing a unit and adding a new tenant or choosing an existing tenant. Make sure that our charges are correct. In this case, I'm going to add insurance. When we're ready to move out, we're going to click Save and commit this transaction. In previous versions of SiteLink, buttons such as the payment button, the printing of your lease would show under the save button. They now show with this pop-up of the finish move-in screen. By default, your lease, lease summary, insurance sign-up form, and auto pay authorization will be on this list. If you do not use insurance, if you do not have your auto pay authorization form enabled, they will not show on this list. Clearly when we move someone in we will want to print a lease, so lease is automatically checked along with lease summary in this case. For this particular example I added insurance to this person's account, therefore it was checked. If I moved in a person and did not add insurance it would not be checked. Once we take our payment and finish the process it will print those forms. One great feature of this screen is that we don't just have to have those four forms. We could add others. To add those forms, we will go to Company, Setup, and then Form Setup screen. This is a list of all your forms that you can edit. If I didn't use the Auto Pay Authorization form, for example, which was defaulted on the move in, I could highlight Auto Pay Authorization, and on the right hand side, for move in availability from Optional, I could choose disabled. Once I save it, now that that particular form is set to be disabled, when I go to do the move-in and I finish the process, you'll notice that auto pay authorization is no longer part of this list. There may also be forms that are not the default forms that I mentioned, lease, lease summary, auto pay authorization, and the insurance sign-up form that you may want to include during the move-in process. When we add a form, let's say an HTML form, I'm going to call this test in this example. Once I save this new form and it's on my list, I'll find that particular form and I can change the move-in availability to either be included or optional. By including the form, when I go to do the move-in, it will already be checked. If I had chosen this form to be optional, it would not be checked by default. So included means checked, optional means unchecked, but I can check it when I'm moving someone in. The point being that you can choose what forms are going to be added to the move-in process. Many of the default forms in the form setup screen are not set by default to be move-in included. For example, a petty cash request is just one example of many that are not set to be included because a petty cash request is not something that you would typically choose when moving someone in. 